What up we two, Medically Fit coming at you from the indoor garden with a little bit of education. Uh, gonna be talking to you more about sugars and not just simple sugars or like the milk tea sugars that we were talking, but sugars are what our plants use for a couple different things. And there's different types of sugars. There's monosaccharides, there's oligosaccharides, if I said that right. Um, then you have artificial sweeteners. So there are several different types of sugars, but what we're looking for is a simple sugar, which is a monosaccharide type of sugar, which includes glucose, which is known as dextrose, fructose, and gal, uh, gal oh gosh, I can't even say it right now. Um, Galactose. Uh, most of these are glandulated sugars, um, and is used in fruit or is used in food. So sucrose, S U C R O S. Remember, anything that ends in O S E uh, is almost a, it's a type of sugar, and it's not necessarily a simple sugar, but it's a type of sugar because you also have um, other di. Uh, Disaccharides, which is a different type of sugar, a longer chain sugar, not a simple sugar, which is like maltose and lactose, milk. So some of these longer chain sugars are oli oligosaccharides, um, but they're, some of them are chemically different substance, have a sweet taste like an artificial sweetener. Um, so there are also sweet other sweeteners that we need to watch out for that are artificial most sugars are found in plant tissue um and most like when sugars were actually found it came from a grass sugar beets um and sugar cane so these are just simple type of sugars that were introduced and found within plants um and the sugars have a lot of stuff that they really do such with like ATP and the breakdown of how the, the sugars break down and then the enzymes help kind of with um, breaking some of this down. So some of these sugars are also, another name is starch. Uh, a lot of starches, polysaccharides, um, is a type of starch and I'm trying to think more of how these enzymes so I can describe it to you guys in a simple layman's term um, basically these monosaccharides are converted into a stru structural polysaccharide saccharides such as cellulose and pectin for cell wall construction so if I'm looking for my walls to have a stronger cellular wall, such as like what I use silica for to help, well, I'm gonna wanna use some sugars, natural polymer, polymer of sugars, because this is what it does. Not only is that, it, uh, for, it constructs or, or in energy forms, basically is what it uses from the sugars, which I always talk about ATP and ADP because ATP and ADP um, are basically metabolic processes of an energy source converted back into its precursor. ATP is therefore continuously recycled in organisms such as the human body, um, which then it's kind of broken down and used into energy, but some of the cells that are still left kind of get made back into ATP. Um, also, some of the um, ATP use that happens from these sugars is a uh, molecular consistency of purine-based aden adenaline, um, which is a nitrogen atom Basically, um, what I'm trying to get at is there's different types of 
these sugars, once again, the Pentro sugar, which is ribose, that helps with some of these ATP, ADP productions for enzymes and the ADP helps with cellular uptake, aerobic uh, respiration. So sugars in your plants, not just in your plants, but for everybody that uses living organics, no-till, sugars alone that your plants release in the exudate zone that feed the biology that these the biology eat and take up those simple sugars that the plants releasing itself in its exudates they create their own sugars release them in the waste and the plants then take up those sugars but i give extra boosts of these simple sugars using molasses brown sugar um honey um, there's a few other ones that people use, but those are the main ones that I use. Um, not just honey, but uh, maple syrup, organic maple syrup. These are a lot of simple sugars um, that are there, carbohydrates that the plants want to use. Like if you understand carbohydrates, how your body uses carbohydrates to burn for energies and fuels, it's the sugars that are being broke down from those carbohydrates that are being used. And if you, as a person taking too many sugars, that's where you start to get the obesity, the fat setting in, and it, because it stores as fat, it stores as energy. Uh, and so we as humans can't take in a lot of sugars, plus the chemical compound, when it's done under a MRI in your brain, it looks like you're doing cocaine because of its sugars, in a sense, are almost a drug for humans um, as the way we see it compared to what plants and the biology of plants use. Because if plants used it, um, if we used it as efficiently as plants, we wouldn't be so obese. But anyhow, so just wanted to bring you a little bit more on the topic of simple sugars, knowing what some of these sh simple sugars are, understanding that simple sugars are basically carbohydrates that are being used um, to create um, ATP, which helps with um, all these other things like DNA and RNA buildup of the monosaccharides um, help with some of this and break down the, the amino chains and the enzymes to help with the plants take up nutrients, like I said, aerobic uh, respiration, basically releasing the, uh, the CO2 or releasing the oxygen and taking in CO2, that's their respiration. But, you know, there's a, I could go in deeper into some of this, but I'm just trying to get a basic understanding of some of this education to you guys. I'm not a chemist. I don't claim to be. I just claim to be somebody that's trying to do some self-education, trying to educate myself, and trying to get some of this education out to you guys so you guys understand it just as well. Why having some sugars, simple sugars, and feeding your plants like people that use bottle nutrients if you're looking at the bottle of nutrients and you're looking at bud sweetener and all this stuff man you can make that stuff at home why you spend your money on that stuff you can make it using brown sugar molasses um a little bit of starches uh so the simple sugars that your plants want so you know there's a lot of stuff out there that we can do research on and get it out to you. So once again, you know, guys, thanks for stopping by. Let me kind of just give a quick description and explanation of sugars, simple sugars, and the importance of their use, not only in our plants, but in our bodies. So, you know, this is that time that we do. We give it the thumbs up. We leave our comments down here. And if we're checking out the channel, you know, trying to get some education and seeing some beautiful flowers because, you know, my product itself shows alone what's going on and how well we're getting things taken care of. So hit that subscribe button, that little red button over here. If it's white, you already subscribed, so you don't need to. But you guys, thanks for stopping by. Have a great day.